Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming along here today. We are subject librarians and today's speakers. My name is Chi Lo Chen and my colleague is Mei Mei Zhang. In this talk, we are going to introduce the library's online catalog and discovery system to you. Then you will learn how to make better use of NTU library's resources. First of all, NTU Libraries Catalog is called SLIM. The abbreviation S-L-I-M means System for Library Information Management. So remember that SLIM is the name of the system. In this talk, you will learn how to use SLIM to identify and locate resources relevant to your study and research by using various search functions to optimize your search result. We're going to divide this talk into six parts. I will be responsible for introducing part one, part two, part three, and my colleague will talk about part four, part five, part six. Then we will play some games and give the winner a gift. At the end, we will be happy to answer any of your questions. Part 1. How to search in NTU Library. This is NTU Library's website. You can, or you can scan the QR code to enter the homepage. Or just type National Taiwan University Library in Google. I will introduce the desktop version of the website. If you use smartphone, you can rotate the screen for your convenience. Notice that the search area is in the middle of the home page. Also, you can click the link icon under the search bar to use more functions. To start searching, there are four tabs on the search area. The first tab is library catalog, which includes library's collection, journals, ebooks, e-journals, audio visual media and other resources. The second tab is discovery system, which provides Google-like single search interface engine. So what's the difference between them? We will introduce it later. When you enter the, the language switch option is in the upper right corner. You can switch the display language to English. Let's begin by searching a book. You can click on the tab catalog and type the book title, author name, or ISBN number in the search bar. Then press enter or click on the search icon. Your re search results will look like this. Let's click on the book title. Here is the record of this printed book. If it says available and there is a call number afterwards, this means it's a physical item that we hold in the library. You will need to write down the shelf location and the call number, these numbers and letters here, and come into library to find the book. For example, the book is located in main library fourth floor science area. And the code number is like the book's address on the library's shelf or stacks. Tells you which shelf the book is on. Our staff can help you if you need a hand finding the ex exact location. Besides, if you want to borrow this book to back home, you also need to check the loan policy. It will tell you whether the book is loanable or not. Next, how can I tell which are ebooks and which are printed books? In the search result page, you can see the electronic resources and physical items. If the item is available online, you can scroll down to view online. Click on the link 
to access it. For example, the ebook is on EBSCO host platform. Because there are different specifications of the use of ebooks among publishers, you may have a limitation in printing or download the PDF. If you have any question when using ebooks, please check the database support center to see the instruction, or you can ask our staff for help. In the second part, I will introduce how to refine the search results. If I want to find a book written in French, but, but I get a large number of results on Slim, can I limit my search to books written in French? Let me give you an example. As we know, Harry Potter is an English novel. It is translated into different languages, such as French and Chinese. It also has movie adaptation. Now, I want to find a French translation. Let's practice. Please click the catalog. In the search field, I select title and type Harry Potter in the search bar. Then click the search button. On the left hand side, you can see some options to refine your search result. We call them filters. These filters can be useful if you get a large number of results. Here are various filters, year, resource type, subject, author, and so on. You can refine your search by resource type, such as books, videos. The filter library means the location, such as main library, low library, or other branches library in NTU. When looking for Harry Potter's French translation, you can click on books and French, then click on apply filters button to limit the result. So here are Harry Potter's French translations. Now we are in multimedia service center. We call Dormiti Fu Zhongxing in Chinese. Here are various audio visual collections you may pick up from the shelf, such as DVD, VCD, or CD. You are welcome to watch the film in the center with the comfortable facilities. So let's look how to search DVD in sleep. We take Harry Potter as an example again. First, you can select Multimedia Center on the right-hand side of the search bar. Second, on the left-hand side, you can limit the search result to video. So here is Harry Potter's movies DVD. Remember to write down the code number and come into the center to find the DVD. In this part, I will introduce how to renew the books which you have borrowed. Also, I will introduce how to request the book which is checked out by someone. Let's begin by the loan regulation. For students, you are allowed to borrow 80 <coughs> items, 80 books. The loan period is 60 days. If the loan period is up and no one makes a request, you are able to renew the items online. If a book is already checked out by others, you can make an online request. You can request at most 30 items. If a book is reserved by another user upon checking out, the loan period will be shortened to 14 days. However, DVD and CD cannot be renewed and requested online. So 
how to renew the books which I have borrowed. In order to check what I have borrowed, please go to the library's website, the homepage, and click on Login My Library icon. It is under the search bar. Library account is same as your NTU email account. After login, I see my name is in the upper right corner of the page. I click on my name and then select my circulation record so I can view and manage my loans. The list below are the books I'm currently borrowing. You can select the renew on the title you wish to renew. If the item is overdue or reserved by another user, you will see the title is non renewable. If you want to know how many times you can renew the books or the details about the loan regulation, please refer to this webpage to get information. Don't worry, we will also send you today's slide after the workshop. If the book is checked out by someone, may I request it online? You can request the book if it is already checked out by someone, as it shows the status of the book is unknown. First, you may need to sign in with your NTU email account. Second, you can click the request button to reserve it. This function makes sure you will be the first one to borrow the book when it is available. You can log in my library to verify why you have a requested. If you no longer need a book, you can remove the request by selecting cancel. Just a few reminder, when your requested item is available for pickup, you will get a pickup email notice to remind you. It will be reserved on the shelf for five working days. If you don't pick up the book during the period, the item will be moved to next requester in line or back to the library stack. Therefore, it's really important to check the personal details on Sling. Please make sure the email address is, is that you commonly use because all of the library notice later will send to this email address, such as overdue notice, courtesy notice later, hope pickup notice, or recall notice email. I'm going to talk about the recall notice. If you borrow a book yesterday, but today you receive a recall notice email from NTU Library, the reason why you receive the email is that another user requests the book online. Actually, your loan period will not be changed if the book is reserved by another user after it has been checked out you can still return it on the original due date. On the other hand, if a book is reserved by another user upon you checking out, the loan period will be shortened to 14 days. Let's turn now to the dissertation and thesis in ASRS Service Center. The usage is very different from the main library. Most thesis and dissertation are located in ASRS Service Center. The items held in the center can be found in Sling. If the item's location is ASRS Service Center, you may play an online request. First, you need to sign in with your NTU email account. Next, click on the request button. Then select the pickup location and click on send request. 
After successfully request the item, you will receive an email notification. After receiving the email, please pick up your requested item at the designated location. Pay attention. ASRS Service Center is not in this building. It's not in main library. So where is it? It is located on the first floor of multi-purpose classroom building. We call it Zonghe Jiao Xue Guan, Yi Lao Zi Dong Hua Shu Fu Fu Wu Zhong Xin, in Chinese. In front of this building, you may see a big red sculpture. Notice that ASRS Service Center's opening hour is only on Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Besides, ASRS means Automatic Storage and Retrieval System. Let's move on to next part. The next topic I would like to focus on is how to optimize your search results. There are three ways to optimize your search results. The first one is refining by filters. The second one is using advanced search. The third one is topic searching. My colleague will introduce it later. As we mentioned earlier, you can use the filters on the left hand side to refine the search results, such as the year, resource type, or language. Let's move on to advanced search. It's another way to optimize your search results so that you can narrow down your search to locate more specific information. Compared to refine option, in advanced search, you can set up some filters before you enter a keyword. To begin a advanced search, click the button on the right hand side of the search bar. Here, you are offered several options. Advanced search allows you to quickly narrow by resource type, language, or date. Or you can tell Sling where your turn should appear, such as book title or the author. Also, you can enter keywords from separate concepts in separate boxes. You can add a new line to make it more complicated search as well. Besides, you can easily switch the collection from everything to library catalog without losing your search filters. Everything means discovery system. My colleague will introduce it later. Sometimes we might not remember the full <coughs> name of a book title. For example, I only know Terry L. Martin has written a book. Gender stereotypes is the only keyword that I have in mind. In this case, we can use advanced search function to find a book. In advanced search, we can use title and author to conduct a search at the same time. First, I type gender stereotypes in the title field. On the second line, I select end. Then I type Martin, comma, Terry L in the author field. Next, click on the search button. Look, I get the exact book title, Men Don't Cry, Women Do, Transcending Gender Stereotypes of Grief. One of the authors is Terry L. Martin. Here is another example. I'm looking for a book, Marketing Management. One of the authors is Philip Kotler. To begin with, I'm going to select Library Catalog, since I want to know what is available in NTU Library. Then I type Marketing Management on the first line. I choose Title in the search field. On the second line, I select End. In the search field, I choose Author, and I type the author's last name, Cutler. Let's move on to the right-hand side. 
Under the material type, I select books. Under language, I select English because I don't want to buy the Chinese translation. So this is a way to further limit your search. Let me give you another example. As we know, bubble tea, Zhenzhou Nai Cha, is the popular drink in Taiwan. To begin with, I'm going to select everything because I want to search, search in not only the library catalog, but also in the discovery system. On the first line, I type bubble tea. Now, I would like to elaborate the difference among three search types. Contents is starved with. By using different search types here, the search results may turn out differently. On the right hand side, there are three articles. You may notice that bubble tea appears differently in the three articles. Let's look at the first one. There are many words between bubble and tea. Actually, the article is not related to a drink. It's about a kind of disease in mushroom. Okay. Look at the second one. Bubble and tea are near each other. Look at the last one. Bubble tea is in the beginning of the article title. To sum up, advanced search may get your search results more precisely. Next, my colleague is going to introduce topic searching. Hi, my name is Mei Mei. I will introduce the second half of this workshop. And in this part, we focus on how to optimize your search results. You can refine by filters or use advanced search. Next, if you are interested in a certain topic or subject, but have no idea how to locate an in a huge amount of library collection, I will introduce three kinds of methods to explore and quickly find the materials of a certain topic using the Selene system. Uh, the first method is using subject terms. When you find a search result which seems to be close to the subject you expected, uh, in your bibliography page, there is a field named subject under details. To put it simple, the subject is like the hashtag in Instagram or Facebook. It could help you to find the materials with the same subject. Let's uh, use big data as an example. Click on it and 927 materials with the same subject heading big data will be shown. Even those book title without the phrase big data. And the second method is virtual browse. Virtual browse features allows you to know the books you are interested in, in similar subjects. Because books on similar subjects are going to be right next to each other on the shelf. And this feature is great for when you cannot come into the library. Scroll down to the very bottom of the page, you will see the virtual browse feature. The third method is using code number. Browsing through the code number of each item from the searching results, you might find out the collections with similar topic will have similar code number. And those materials have similar code number will be placed together in the library. Now let's watch a short video together. And you can read the English subtitle. And this video shows you how to find the Chinese learning books in NTU library. First, go to our website, and there are three methods for pairing Chinese learning books are uh, in Chinese. The first is choose title and search uh, Huayu or Zhongwen as keyword. And the second way is use subject search. You can type Han Yu in a search box.
And the third way is what we introduce, you can use code number. Then you are find related books. And if you want to read the English version, uh, you can use methods of list above. Uh, just to remind you, when you find a book, uh, please check the location. And you can find Chinese learning books uh, by yourself now. Okay, so we will talk a lot about how to use catalog instantly. Now I would like to elaborate on discovery system. Uh, what is the difference between them? Let's review what we say so far. Uh, catalog allows you to search books, journals, newspaper, and audiovisual materials uh, held by NTU library. And you can search for publications the library has on the shelves and that we offer in electronic form like ebooks and e-journals. However, the library catalog can only search for the name of a periodical, not the articles inside of a periodical. And that's why we have discovery system. Discovery system is one-stop search system which provides Google like a single search interface engine. You can search anything here, including our library catalog, print and online content, books, journals, books chapters, journal articles, even with web resources which include open access or free resources. But if web resources are not purchased by library, you may only see the bibliography record or limited content. In other words, discovery is a helpful tool that combines searching the library catalog with searching many of the library's databases as well as other sources, but not everything is included. Again, let's take bubble tea, for example. If you use discovery system, the search scope is everything. And here's the search result. There are a variety of materials in discovery system, ranging from print books to digital articles. So you may find article, book, open access article, web resources, or book chapter. And you can fill your results using the menus on the left by resource type. So what I'm saying is these two services are based on the same database. So they are in the same interface, but with different coverage. With discovery, you can find more information other than you find in catalog. Not only books, journals, but also chapters and journal articles. If the library catalog is not enough for you, Discovery provides a convenient starting point for finding research materials. Um, by far, I think everything is clear and easy to understand, right? And if you want to search for a specific article in a periodical, and how could you do? Now you have a citation of the journal article. Uh, in this example, the article title is Good Data Won't Guarantee Good Decisions. It's published in Harvard Business Review. And as we mentioned earlier, in the library catalog, we can only search for the journal title. And if you want to search with the article title, you can use discovery system. Uh, let me demonstrate the first one to search article title. And please click the discovery tab, uh, type in the article title in search bar, and then click search. In the search result, you can see the first result is what you want, an article. And you can access it online. Just click more information in the bibliographic record. Uh, for the electronic resource, please see view online and choose the platform title to click. Now you can keep, click the PDF full text link and congratulations, you get the full text. Uh, it's easy, right? But let's try the second way to search journal title. And remember what did I say? If you use library catalog, you can only search for the journal title. 
And don't forget to check other information such as year, volume, issue, and page. And follow the sense that we mentioned before, click the catalog tab and type the journal title and then click the search button. And you can also use the library catalog advanced search, uh, type the journal name and limit the material type to journals to fill out other types of materials with the same title. Then click the search button. As you see, this journal has an electronic version. According to the date of the coverage, full text for the year since 1985 are available. So just click the link in journal title. And just a few reminders, uh, when you find a journal you need, please move to view online to see which platform you can access. And before you click the database title to access the full text, please check the coverage of journal. As the figure shows, there are two sources for accessing this journal. Uh, if you are supposed to find the article published in 1999, you should click on second link. And sometimes you may confront a situation which the full text will no full text delay. It means you could not access the current issue. For example, if a journal is noted, most resume one year not available. It means the full text is delayed for one year. Uh, although the journal's current issue is published in this March, the newest issue you could access is the former March. Now let's turn back to get the article for text. For the electronic version, please look at all issue on the right side and click the year, volume, and issue. And here to see the page or browse for the article title, you will find the article and click the PDF download button. Again, you will get the full text. And now you know how to use catalog and discovery system in the link. And except for using the Google Likes the link, there are some databases used to search for specific type or subject of resources you should know. And using database can narrow down the searching scope. If your information need is specific, database is more suitable for you. And to use databases, you can go to library website, click the third tab, databases. And if already know a specific database, typing in the database title in the search bar and then click search. If you want to browse all accessible databases through the NTU library, click the databases link in orange below. And it will connect it to the databases page. Here are three kinds of this sorted by subject, titles, and content type. For browsing over 600 databases provided by NTU Library. In addition, you can also search for a specific database by typing in the database title in the search bar. Uh, it seems like too many to browse right. Don't worry, let me introduce widely used databases for you. In topics, there are general databases often used such as Web of Science, Scopus, JSTOR, Academic Search Complete, and so on. And in feature databases, there are important databases of each subject. Before searching, there's a notification for you. Most NTU library e-resources can be accessed in the campus network. However, if you are not in the NTU campus, you still can access database, e-journals, and e-books remotely by the off-campus internet connection service. Also known as virtual private network, we will say VPN. And by using VPN, you can access e-resource outside the campus. 
that you need to do some settings for the first time. There's an instruction page link in the category of services on the uh, library website. You can follow these directions step by step to set up your VPN. And this service is provided by an NTU Computer and Information Networking Center, which is Jidong in Chinese. So if you get trouble in setting up VPN, you can ask them to help you. After talking about searching this link, now we will move on to other features in the link that might help you to make better use of our system. Uh, when using the link, uh, you can export references of items. For example, you can export the reference to EndNote. Uh, do you guys know what EndNote is? Oh, okay, good. But it, in case you don't know what EndNote is, uh, EndNote is a powerful bibliographic management tool. It has features to keep all your reference and reference related materials in a searchable personal library then you can match this reference. And then you can use your reference in word processing documents to create for many citations and bibliography or an independent reference list. In short, Enno is really useful and helps academic writing. So if you are interested in Enno, uh, there will be a workshop on May 6th. Welcome to attend the workshop. Okay, let's get back on track. If you want to export the reference to EndNote in Bibliography Record page, there's a send to section in the middle part of the page and click the EndNote button and choose UTF-8 and then download. An RIS format file will be downloaded, double click it, it will be imported into the and no library. And the second feature I want to introduce is how to save my favorite items in the link. Uh, to see my favorites after signing, you can click on the drop down menu of username. And by saving items needed into my favorites, you can quickly fill up your personal collection list. And further functions such as simple management, adding labels to multiple items at once, or exporting and sending the records are available. It's a convenient function to access your reading and research. And to save your sources for the future sections, be sure you sign in each time on your search. Use the wrapping icon to add the items to my favorites. And after clicking on the wrapping, the system will add the item into My Favorites. And to see and match the item saving My Favorites, click on the pink icon in the top right corner. And if you want to remove a record from My Favorites, click on the gray pin to remove the item. And you can add labels to your saved records. Labels allows you to group records in private disks so that you can access these records as needed in future. And you can type in whatever terms you want and add to the item. And you may assign multiple labels to a saved record if you want. Include that record in multiple lists. And all the labels use the, and the amount of items with a certain label with B. Uh, list on the right hand side of the page and this functions makes you easier to navigate through your personal collection list and in the safe record type you can export a single record or multiple record to citation manager emails or printers for personal use just click the three dots to view all the options and when you conduct the search after signing in, the system will automatically show the items in my favorites in yellow background if it happens to be in the search results. And due to time constraints, this workshop cannot cover all of the functions in the link. 
For more information, you can read about our post in NTU Library Reference Service Blog, or you can scan the QR code. Now the workshop is near its end. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, if you have any further questions about NTU Library resources and services, we will be happy to answer them now. And please feel free to use our reference service. Our reference desk is on the first floor of the main library, just behind the checkpoint. You can get help from the librarian there. And if the end of workshop, we appreciate your attention and we hope all of you will make good use of NTU Library. See you in the library. Thank you very much.